Now, something completely different. We all, of course, watched uh, the pictures unfold when a container ship got itself stuck in the world's busiest shipping lanes. The story caused waves around the world. This was the ever given, caused a traffic jam of over 400 vessels, and it took six days before it was finally freed from the Suez Canal. Yeah, it's just jammed right across. Oh the Suez Canal there. So who was to blame for all of this and who was to blame was the subject of much talk around the world, but it was very unwanted, unwanted for our next guest, which is Marwa Elsledar. She was the first woman to captain a ship through the canal. And uh, Marwa, you find yourself at the center of this whole story. And the thing that we want to explain today is you were nowhere near this. You weren't on this ship. You were 200 miles away on another ship. How did you feel about being connected and associated with this? Good morning to you. Good morning to you, Anne. Good morning to you, Ruth. Morning. Uh, actually, I found that it's like uh, they, they, they talk uh, me as a woman woman work in this industry and they they just say that i was the captain of the ship and i was far away of the this ship and i don't work well with this company so i found that it's so uh, uh weird to 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 just uh, talk about uh, someone you don't know anything about uh, him or her and just uh, like talk about their and and uh, change the reputation of this person, and it was a fake news. And why why Marwa? Do you think people were saying that about you? Actually, uh, women are still suffering inequality uh, when uh, we when we work in this uh, field. So I think uh, if um, like uh, until now I didn't see the picture of the, this captain who were driving the or who were sailing the ship. So I think only because of, uh, of me as a woman uh, or a, uh, a girl, they, they use it to show the world that we are not able to do this work. So it's like, it's, it's like them saying, you know, women can't drive. Do you or think fly because, airplanes. Or fly airplanes. You know, that must, you know, sometimes people think, oh, it's just a joke. That must really make you very angry because it must have taken you a very, very long time to get where you are. You're now a first officer and you were the first uh, Egyptian female captain ever. So you must be very proud of that. And it must make you very angry when people don't take you seriously. Yes, actually, I was so angry at the beginning because I had worked so hard to reach this point as a first officer, and I uh, had like working oh, like around eight or nine years on board ship, and I had built this reputation. And for them to screw all this and start talking that uh, like as an Egyptian or as a girl that I cannot do this job, and they making a joke about it, uh, it was really. Uh, like, I was really upset at the beginning, but later on I found, like, the support from all people around me and all over the world I started receiving a lot of mails and that made me feel, like, uh, more grateful for what happened. <laughs> and for me, like, people start knowing that uh, women are able to work in this field and uh, the encouragement from people I got, it, it made me feel that we can do this and we we already did the, this already yeah well it is it is blatant sexism vicious horrible lies rumor innuendo uh, someone like you such a role model for so many young women how many women marwa would actually be doing the job that you do uh it's not Actually, uh, women only account uh, for two percent of the world seafarers. Uh, so imagine, like we, we, our percent is like two or three uh, percent of the seafarers around the world, according to the International Maritime Organization. Uh, so we are not uh, a lot in this uh, field but hopefully we will be more in the future. And this is all because girls are afraid of uh, gaining an opportunity to work on board ships. And why did you want to do that? Um, 
before I got in this field, I start like do a lot of research and and check uh, all the subjects that I will gonna study, and I found it so interesting for me. And this is the coolest work, job ever I can apply for, and this is for the 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 uh, theoretical education and after this I start working on board and actually I start full in love with my work and I start like gaining more knowledge and experience and uh, I, st I, I couldn't stop until I reached my dream to become a captain. You're a first officer now so how long do you think before you'll become a captain? Okay, and uh, we we graduate as a second officer, and then we have to work like eighteen months on board, to and then we study a course to become a first officer, and then we have to do our service time like eighteen months on board, and then we go uh, for exams to get the, the captain or the master ticket. Well, yeah. I'm sure that you'll have that captain's ticket before you know it. How how difficult is it to be in command? Of a vessel the size of the ones that we're that we're talking about, like the the evergreen, uh, absolutely huge, 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 huge. Um, what are the big problems? Are the big problems actually docking a vehicle like that, or or just navigating across a sea of the canal? What what are the big problems with that? I believe that the big problem was the was the bad weather uh, because the in bad weather the steering is uh, and in the steering in the in the canal or any narrow canal uh, it will be so difficult. So I believe it it was the bad weather. Yeah. Well, look, it's been absolutely lovely talking to you. Fascinating. Um, it's great to dispel all those stupid rumours and uh, and we salute you, first officer, captain, to come. Ahoy, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. <laughs> Lovely to talk thank to you. Thank you, Marwa. Thank you so much. It was thank lovely you. talking to you. Lovely. So lovely. Have a good day. And thank you. you. And Just you. Talking talk to us from Alexandra, yeah. which apparently is a very good Alexandra, a very good place. But yeah, you know, youngest the youngest female to do that. And what a lovely woman and it's just unbelievable, isn't it? She was like hundreds of miles away, actually on another ship doing her Blame job. Her. Blame it, must her. Get, it must be that woman. Yeah. Can't, they can't drive, can't park.